Botanical gardens like ours represent an ancient cultural tradition and some of the earliest organized gardens were put together as a way to both grow and study plants for their medicinal uses. And I'm standing in our South American garden underneath the canopy of our Chilean soap bark. Scientific name of this one is Quilaja saponaria. And in its native range, it's long been used for actual soap alternatives. It cleans clothes reputedly very well. The reason that I'm talking about it today is because it's been found that there are compounds within the bark and leaves of this tree that actually are used to make the incoming vaccines that we're all anticipating many times more effective. These trees naturally come from Chile where they are routinely harvested in a sustainable way these days for the medicinal compounds that come out of them. And they're actually useful for industrial purposes as well. But what an amazing way for a modern representation of such long-standing tradition that we have a plant that comes from another part of the world with the climate very similar to ours. California is one of the only places outside of Chile where this plant grows well. And it happens that plants Going way back, plants have been our allies and they still are today. We're still relying on living collections of plants just like this soap bark beside me to make new medicines every day.